okay guys in this video i will discuss about the different failure pattern of anchor bolt okay so if you are new to this channel please do subscribe and also don't forget to press the bell icon so that in future you can be benefited so at the very first assuming you are a beginner and you have no idea about anchor bolt in that case what is anchor bolt simply this is a tool that is used to connect the superstructure with the substructure okay now if the superstructure has only compressive load then we don't need any anchor bolt okay but if there is a slight amount of tensile load or a slight amount of shear force in that case we need anchor bolt why because the compressive load simply transferred to the pedestal through the action of bearing no issue but if we have tensile force in that case the column here simply tends to be uplifted okay and we need something to hold it with the pedestal and anchor bolt do the same job okay so it carries the or it transfer the tensile force from the superstructure to the pedestal and also the same is true for the shear force also if there is no anchor bolt the shear force tends to misplace or displace this column from the pedestal so we need something to hold down this column with the pedestal the anchor bolt do the same job so all the failures in anchor bolt actually occurs due to tensile force and shear force there is no question of compressive force correct so let's start the failure pattern one by one at the very first the failures due to tension right so the tension failure start with the failure of the anchor bolt itself if you do not provide sufficient diameter and the strain in that case the anchor bolt may fail under the ten tensile action just like this it will simply rupture the solution is simply increase the diameter and if the diameter is not permissible or is not available in that case increase the strength right the strength of the steel material second type of tensile failure is let's say you have provided sufficient diameter as well as the strength in that case what will happen the tensile force will be carried properly through the anchor bolt but if it is not bonded with the concrete properly or the bond strength is not sufficient it will come out from the concrete and that is known as the pull out failure so the solution is you may have to insert or inject some bonding agent externally to increase the bond strength right now the third and final category of failure under tension is the breakout of the concrete let's say you have provided sufficient strength so uh, and also the diameter so the steel is okay and due to the bonding agent the bond strength is also perfect so no pull out so definitely the tensile force is going to be transferred properly through the anchor bolt up to this stud now this stud simply try to break this concrete okay and if the concrete is not strong enough or if there is not sufficient uh, reinforcement the concrete will simply come out okay this is the sectional view if you look this in a plan if this is the anchor bolt the concrete breakout will occur just like this in a circular pattern okay so the whole chunk of the concrete will come out from the pedestal and this is known as concrete breakout now uh, the one version of concrete breakout is side face blowout let's say the anchor bolt is being placed at the edge of the pedestal okay previously it was placed at the center now let's say it is at the edge so this circular formation cannot be completed okay so you can see as it is at the edge the circle formation it is not completed so much before reaching this crack at the top the side will be blow out okay so you have to ensure that there is sufficient reinforcement at the side to arrest the side face blow out when the edge distance is very less it is all about the tensile failure come to the shear failure so just like the steel failure previously we have discussed uh, due to the shear also the steel may fail because of insufficient diameter or the strength or the grade of the anchor bolt so you have to ensure that you provide the sufficient diameter of the anchor bolt to carry the shear force okay now the second one is just like the tension the concrete may break out okay 
if it is not provided with sufficient reinforcement because once you apply this shear force it is transferred to the adjacent concrete okay and at the plan you can see if there is not sufficient reinforcement it will crack like this and the whole chunk of concrete will come out here okay just like this it form a cone like this and it is come out like this okay now let's say you have provided sufficient reinforcement in this side only but not in this side so what will happen at the top only let's say a very local amount of concrete will be crashed like this and only this portion it is being crashed and once it has been crashed due to the shear force the anchor bolt is tilted so once it is tilted it produces a couple like this due to this couple formation at the back side of the anchor bolt a stressed zone is occurred and as you do not provide any reinforcement here it is crashed and this is known as the pry out so pry out is completely due to the shear action okay so it's a shear failure so now come to the solution so in all the cases you can see here if we provide sufficient reinforcement our problem is solved okay now discuss one by one well first the concrete break out due to tension so as you can see here around the anchor bolt these are the anchor bolt this is anchor bolt 1 and this is 2 we have provided the side reinforcement and in the plan if you see if this is the pedestal and let's say uh, this is one anchor bolt this is 2 and our reinforcement actually uh, goes like this these are the steel up these are the vertical bars and these are the stirrup okay and in elevation we have provided one two three four five number of stirrup but at the top we have provided at much higher dense condition okay why well so in this concrete breakout first let me erase everything okay so in this concrete breakout as we have provided enforcement here now in the form of stirrup it is safe and this is also valid for side face blowout because it is nothing but one form of concrete breakout at the edge okay now come to the uh, concrete breakout under shear action here also we have provided the enforcement now the problem is here you can see that at the top we have provided reinforcement for tensile breakout and at the top we also have shear breakout so we need to provide much more reinforcement here okay and also due to this type of arrangement our priority is also arrested okay so that's it if you love this video don't forget to share it